Come and take a ride with us, sit right down, enjoy the bus, drive you, we will drive you. Sammy, Harry, and the rest, Stephanie will do her best, drive you, we will drive you. Busy buses, driving hard through rain or shine. Busy buses, trying to get you there on time. It was very early on a bright autumn morning and everyone was sound asleep. Everyone, that is, except for Sammy. Well, hey! Come on, everyone! Time to get up! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, what a blaze this is going on. What on earth's that noise? What? 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 Uh, scramble! Sammy explained uh, that the summer holidays were over and it was time to take the children back to school. Oh, when do you have to collect them? Asked Susan, the shopping bus. Sammy looked at the timetable. Half past eight. Half, Half past eight. eight? But it's only six o'clock, Pat. So Penny and the other buses went back to sleep. Meanwhile, Mr. Spectre, the bus inspector, was also getting ready to start his day. <laughs> hey! oh. Someone's key to get started this morning. And he sent Sammy off to get washed and polished. Sammy didn't like the coach wash. <laughs> All that soap in his headlights and scrubbing under his wheels. But soon, he was shiny, smart, and ready for his big day. Good luck, Sammy. Now make sure you look both ways at the crossroads, pet. Shouted Penny. First, Sammy stopped at the housing estate. Room at the back. Then, over the railway crossing he went. Whoa! And splash through the Ford on Market Street which the children always loved. By now, he was almost full, so he hurried through the town and up school lane just as the clock struck nine. Oh, made it, he said as he pulled up at the school gates. See you, kids. Sammy felt very pleased with himself, so he hurried back to the garage to tell everyone all about it. I did it! I did it! I got everyone there bang on time! But Mr. Spectre was a bit puzzled. What are you doing here, Sammy? You're supposed to be taking the juniors to the swimming pool. Oh, sorry, Mr. Spectre. Hey, catch you later. Ah, it takes you back, doesn't it, Roger? Ah, yeah, it's a good old days, Arnold. What? At the leisure centre, Sammy parked near the fence so he could watch. Oh, do you mind? He even had a splash himself. Way! See you later, kids. And when he'd taken the juniors back to school again, he hurried back to the garage to tell everyone all about it. Way! Hey, mission completed, everyone. What are you doing back here, Sammy? You're supposed to be taking the dinner ladies home. Sorry. Catch you later, Mr. Spectre. Hey! Oh. Catch you late indeed. He'll catch a cold, that's what he'll catch. Well, it was a long hour day, Sammy collected the dinner ladies and took them all home. But of course, when Sammy got back to the garage for a little rest, you can guess what Mr. Spectre said to him, can't you? What are you doing back here, Sammy? It's time to take the children home again. Oh, not again. Sorry, Mr. Spectre. Catch you later, Sammy. Be careful, young man. That night, as the buses all returned from their busy day's work, and Mr. Spectre was closing up the garage. Another day done. See you tomorrow, my busy buses. <laughs> Everyone had to be especially quiet. And as Arnold began to tell them all about the old days... Uh, did I uh, tell you about the time when uh, I was a young bus uh, doing the school run? Yes, oh, Arnold, yes. a hundred times. <laughs> well, it was, uh, you know, a few years ago. The garage and his busy buses settled down to sleep.